question number 17 that is section 2 here you are supposed to do uh, to choose uh, five questions out of eight that is number 17 to number 24 so what you do is you read through all the questions from number 17 to 25 uh, to 24 uh, mark the questions that you feel you are comfortable you can work and maximize your uh, work to get more marks then after you mark the questions you want to do uh, then start doing the five uh, ensure that you choose the questions which you can score either 10 or the highest marks possible in that particular question uh, so let's look at this question a, a, a garden measures 10 meters long and 8 meter wide a path of uniform uh, width is made all around the garden the total area of the garden and the path is 168 find the uh, the width of the path now up to approach this question uh, you can make a sketch of uh, what is uh, has been described here just a sketch uh, so let's say that is a uh, that is uh, the garden and the path and this is now the garden inside uh, so that is uh, a sketch uh, so we are told the garden is 10 meter so this is uh, 10 meter and this is 8 meter that is the width uh, we are told uh, that the path is made all around it uh, so if we can we can say this is x that is the width of the uh, the width of the, the garden uh, so we can say this is uh, the width here uh, which we can call x like that now we are told that the area is equals to 168 uh, so how do you get the area? Uh, so you find that since the area uh, is it, it includes the, the the path, you can divide your you can divide your 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 area or your this uh, two like that, uh, so that you say now the length of the whole the length of the garden and the path this will be ten. Uh, we have this x here, uh, x here and x here. Uh, so when you add the 2 then you get it is plus 2x so that is uh, the length what about the width the width of the since uh, we say then we take uh, this other part here which is the same as x and this is x and this is uh, also x and therefore uh, the length of the garden and the path will be 8 meter the length of the garden plus 2x that is the uh, two ends of the path now it means that uh, the area of the whole then it means it is equals to it should be 10 uh, plus 2x that is the length multiplied by the width which is 8 uh, plus 2x and the total area we are told it is equals to 168 meters squared uh, so you open the bracket you will be able to get this is 80 uh, that plus uh, that is 10 times 8 plus 20x 10 times 2x uh, then plus 2 times 2x times 8 that will give you 16x uh, finally we have 2x multiplied by 2x that will give you 4x squared is equals to 168 uh, now from there this is uh, x squared uh, from there we can say let's start with 4x squared uh, then we have 20x plus 16x that will give us 36x. Uh, we have 80. We bring 168 across the equal sign. It becomes uh, positive or uh, negative. Uh, so 80 minus 168, you'll be able to get 88 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation, which we can simplify by dividing throughout by 4. So we can divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. Uh, so we will be able to get our our x squared uh, then we have a uh, plus this will be 9x minus uh, 44 is equals to 0 uh, this a quadratic uh, equation uh, what you do is uh, you get two numbers such that when you add them you get 9 when you multiply them you get uh, 9 and they have, uh, that is minus 44 and you get the factors the factors will be x minus 2 and, uh, and we have uh, into bracket x plus 11 
is equal to 0. This is that uh, x is equal to 2 and minus 11. Since we are talking of uh, length, a length cannot be negative. So what you do is you ignore uh, minus 11 and we say x is equal to 2 meters, which is we had defined as the width of the the width of the pad. So that is how you work out that question. You get four marks. Uh, you get for uh, you get uh, you get one mark here for expressing that. Uh, expressing you are you are you are it's whatever you have your factors into a quadratic uh, equation. Solving the quadratic equation and you get one mark for the declaring the answer. So that is how you get the four mark. Part B of question number 17, we are told the path is covered with a square concrete slab. Each corner of the path is covered with a slab whose size is equal to the width of the path. The rest of the path is covered with the slabs of uh, 50 centimeter. The cost of making each uh, corner slab is 600 shillings, while the cost of making the smaller slab is uh, 50 shillings. Calculate the number of slabs used. Uh, number number two, we, the total cost of the slab uh, used to cover the whole part. Uh, so to approach this question, we still uh, we st you can uh, use the previous uh, uh, previous uh, sketch, or you can just uh, I just draw another one because uh, now I'm using a different format. But for you, you can use the earlier one that you had drawn. Uh, so you draw the, the sketch like that. Uh, since we are told that the corners are covered by uh, by slabs, uh, which are uh, equal to the width of the of the of the path. So these are the uh, these are the uh, the four parts. Uh, remember, we had said that this is a uh, ten meter, and this is eight meter. Now, once you have that, in uh, in our in part A, we say that uh, this is our x and that is our x, that is the width of the uh, and of the path, and we said x is equal to 2 meters. Uh, now, this we want to, to calculate the number of small squares. So if these are 2 meters, we can say here, uh, since we said these are 2 meters uh, and 1 meter, so the area, the, it means that 1 meter, uh, 1 meter across here, is and uh, it is one meter and two meters so you can say for one meter out of ten the area of is uh, two multiplied by uh, one and the area that is meter squared you divide by uh, the area of the the area of uh, uh, the the small slab it is 0 0.5 meter so it is 0 0.5 multiply by 0 0.5 so you get one meter across here is carrying uh, that uh, that now that number of uh, slabs uh, when you divide this meter squared then you multiply by the number of slab uh, the number of meters you have here and then you multiply by two to cover the two uh, so you cover but to cover the two you'll be able to find that uh, when you when you divide this uh, this uh, you get it is 4 uh, 4 multiplied by 10 is uh, that is uh, not f not 4 but you find it is 8 uh, 8 multiplied by 10 is 80 80 multiplied by 2 is 160 so this uh, these two sides will carry 160 uh, the other one you have uh, you do the same it is 2 meter you multiply by 1, you divide by the area of a small slab, 0 0.5, multiply by 0 0.5. So you find 1 meter will carry that number of small slab. You multiply by the number of meters, uh, that is 8, uh, and you multiply by 2. Uh, so you are looking for that and that. And when you multiply that, uh, this will give you 8. Uh, when you simplify here, you will be able to get this is 8. And 8 multiplied by 8 is uh, 64 multiplied by by 2, uh, you get 128. So slabs. So the total total number of the small slab is equals to 160 
uh, plus 128 which is giving you uh, 288 slabs 288 uh, slabs so that is how you do that so there you get three mark uh, you get uh, one mark there uh, you get uh, one mark here uh, and you get uh, one mark for the answer so the part b of this question this is part a we are told calculate the total cost of the slab used to cover the pad so the corner the corner the corner slabs that is one, one two three four each was costing 600 so we are going to multiply uh 600 you multiply by four that will be the total cost of the uh, the, the the big slabs of corner slabs rather uh, you add the others are 288 and you multiply by the cost of uh, each which is 50 shillings and when you use your calculator you get this is 2400 uh, you add to the, this is going to be 14400 uh, and when you add the two then you'll be able to get it is equals to 16800 800 shillings so that is how you work out that and there you also get uh, two marks so you get uh, you get uh, uh, one mark there uh, you get one mark for uh, multiplying that and you get uh, uh, you can get uh, here you can get uh, for the two two marks that is for small slabs and big subs and you get one mark for the answer so that uh, sorry for that so this is a uh, think uh, this you get one mark here there are three marks so totaling to six marks for that question and uh, you you should be able to score that so that's how you do that question uh, remember part one we had four marks this had have uh, uh, six marks so you should uh, be able to score ten marks which is a uh, max for the whole question get more of this uh, subscribe to this channel then click this icon to get the notification whenever i produce a new video you can call or whatsapp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class